At the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2, what I wanted is really to change the structure of the missions to, um, instead of having a main structure, it's a different structure each time you start a new sequence of missions. There's a story that will be there, they'll drive uh, the missions, surprise you, maybe a missions that you start and you think that you're going to do something, maybe you'll have a, a U-turn and do something else instead. Hey, I remember you. You never know really what's going to happen next in uh, Assassin's Creed 2. There's a little bit for everybody. We're really trying to make sure that the game uh, appeals to as many people as possible. We have reach high points still in the AC2 uh, with uh, climbing puzzles. Then you'll have, uh, you know, collectible quests. There are crowd missions. There's the narrative mission. You have these missions that you can do to change your notoriety in the city. There's also the city life. Which are just randomly occurring acts throughout the world. For example, we have the messenger. The messenger who sees Ezio, sees the player, will run away. So it's up to the player to say, am I chasing him to get the letter he's carrying or not? We have one guy that we call the pickpocketeer. So basically that guy will be able to steal the money from the assassin and start running. So what do you do? You continue your mission or you uh, go back to that guy and you'll be able to get the money. Throughout the world, you're going to find exciting, you know, memorable historical landmarks that also have interiors that you get to play through with lots of acrobatics and running and jumping. And these interiors lead to tombs that have been hidden for hundreds of years that only the assassins can find. You find these caves, you find uh, old uh, run-down castles, you can find a, a church. And you'll be, you know, doing free running around the church to eventually find a hidden treasure. The player is going to be inside the Duomo and, you know, that interior is one of the biggest interiors in Italy. And, you know, jumping and climbing through all of it is really going to give you a sense of the awesomeness of this building and your incredible freedom. For sure these moments will be like a wow moment. It's like having an extra game or extra games inside the game that you bought. So each missions are different, a lot more variety. So it's not about doing investigation and assassination nine times. It's really more like each time a mission can lead to a beat up mission, can lead to a chase and escape, can lead to an assassination. It's, it's quite overwhelming the amount of stuff there is. Well, having more missions requires us ultimately to have more cutscenes and more cinematics. But I think we're adding a lot of value to these to the player. And like a couple of examples of this is uh, you could still control the camera like you did in AC1. People like that feature a lot. Uh, we also have mini branching cutscenes uh, where the player will have to interact at a specific time and uh, this may have two different effects. So if you uh, hit the cinematic at the wrong time, then you might just hug a lady, uh, whereas if you hit it on the right time, well, who knows what, what's going to happen.